What's good everyone, thanks for stopping back by the channel. Today we are going to be checking out a very special keyboard sent over to me by Mode. Just because they sent this over does not mean that my opinions are influenced in any way. Everything I say is exactly how I feel. So today we're going to be checking out the Mode Envoy. This is their most recent installment in their line of keyboards. This is a new mounting style, 65%. It's almost like an O-ring, but not really. We'll talk more about that soon. It has these two accent pieces that act as weights. Also inside the package, you'll be getting your own keycap and switch puller, your own mode branded screwdriver, your whole bundle of foam so you can aim for that deeper sound or the more high end sound. Today we use the mode obscuras on the carbon fiber plate. These switches are just, for me the mode obscuras are the best in their lineup and they are a clack beast. For today's build, we'll also be using the QMK stabilizer from GMK. This is super nice stabilizer. So let's talk about the mounting style. This is a lattice block. It's super squishy, super bouncy material. It also is available in a more solid material. This acts kind of like an O-ring, isolating the plate from the case all around the board with mounting points. You just slide them into place just like this, push them in firm, and then you sit your PCB assembly right on top and you screw it in with these two screws. The purpose of these two screws is to prevent the plate from bouncing out of the case. This keyboard feels incredible no matter which way you decide to mount it, and you can really customize your mounting depending on how you lay out the lattice blocks. Today we use GMK Metropolis. This is a keycap set I've really been enjoying lately, but I can't wait to check out Mode's proprietary keycaps. Now before we hear a little sound test, let's talk about how I feel about the Mode Envoy. I honestly think this might be their best feeling and sounding keyboard to date. You can definitely tell that they've been innovating in how they're designing their keyboards and really want to bring something amazing to the market for everyone. And I think they really did nail it with this keyboard. Something that is still bamboozling me to this day is how they managed to fit all of this amazing sound, feel, and visuals into this price point for a keyboard. It really is so competitive with this like new beginner friendly market that we're kind of in right now. And I just, I really could not recommend this keyboard enough to anyone who's wanting to start their mechanical keyboard journey. Something else that I do feel like is worth noting is that this keyboard can sound incredible without foam. I've built it in many configurations since I've had it in my possession on my streams. We've built it fully foamed up with PE foam to get that deep, thocky sound. We've built it with no foam at all to have that ultra high end clack. This keyboard really can do it all. And for that reason, that's why I think this might be the best keyboard so far in 2023. So let's go ahead and hop into a sound test. 